What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, capsule side and everybody, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply everyone has free will. Only take only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Sorry, you guys. I'm tired. I work hour, many hours this week, like 43 or something like that hours this week in a three-day stretch. So I'm tired. Um, and I just did a reading. So just saying. So I know my words are coming out kind of black. So sorry about that. Okay. So this is a free general collective reading. It's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. That's very, very, very important. We have uh, 11,810 subscribers on the channel right now. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, if it's not your story, you leave it for somebody that it is. Okay. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Okay. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, a lot of readers, especially a lot of readers use that disclaimer and it's true, but especially the ones that receive spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe, because it's important to do that. So absolutely just saying, okay, so I'm going to receive, um, download, upload the spiritual download that I received. So I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do who, okay. So the channel message I received was, um, it's a collective reading for caps through sides. So it really can resonate with any sign. Okay. If it resonates for you. So the channel message I received was Facebook searching is about to become off the charts very soon for several people. They realized they were lied to in huge ways in the past. And they're about to do their own research through Facebook. Heard some are about to be very successful. Um, and some, they're not going to get much information on the people they search, but some, they're going to get tons of information on the people they search. Some, it's one person. Some, it's many people. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, I, I did, I received a channeling the other day about Facebook search is about to be done, and it's about to be very productive, basically. Um, so, a lot of Facebook search energy in the universe. Um, the other one was like Facebook and Instagram. This one, I just heard Facebook. So, somebody... Whoever you are, um, this will be you or somebody you're connected to, is about to start Facebook searching. Now, whoever this is for, it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. So, only you know your story, not anybody else. So, it could be you about to be Facebook searching off the charts or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's about to start Facebook searching off the charts. Her, they realize they were lied to in a huge freaking way and they're about to do their own research. So, they're about to take their own action in their own hands and find out the, the real truth for themselves because they realized they were lied to so freaking badly in the past. And I don't blame you. You should always do your own research. I mean, yes, it's good to have reliable, trustworthy, loyal people in your life, but you should, one, protect yourself. CYA, cover your own butt. Protect yourself. And that's just the truth for real. So whoever you are, you're about to do that. You're about to realize you were, some I feel like you already realized you were lied to lied to hugely some you're about to i feel however that resonates you're about to take matters in your own hand you're about to facebook search it could be one person particular person it could be two plus people however that resonates how many ever people you're about to facebook search however that plugs in um i heard for one of these people you're about to facebook search it's going to be provide a lot of useful information um for some whoever you're about to search it's going to provide hardly none but they probably do that on facebook for strategic manipulative purposes. And that's just the truth. People that try to hide things, they're not going to put it publicly on Facebook. If they're trying to hide something, they're not going to put it pub publicly on Facebook unless it's like some weird catfishy um, um, Facebook account, a Facebook account or something like that. I'm just being real. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, my Facebook profile, for example, for me personally, because I can't speak on anybody else, but I can speak on myself. I've had mine personally, I think since 2009, I'll look it up, but I think, yeah, I think I've had mine since 2009. Hold on. Yeah, October of 2009, I've had mine. Uh, for, I'll just use mine as an example. Mine is Mary, M-A-R-Y, Johnston, J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N. That's my maiden name. It's not my legal name, but it's my maiden name. So that's why I put it on my Facebook. So 
people that knew me in the past, if they knew me by that name, they could search that name. And Smith, S-M-I-T-H, which is my legal name right now, my ex-husband's last name. So Mary Johnston Smith is mine. But like people that try to use catfishy uh, profiles on Facebook or any other social media platform, they usually don't, one, put their real name on there, or two, they don't put real information on there. So, because they don't want people to know the real truth. And that's just the truth. Now, why you have to hide truth, why you are hiding the truth, only people, only the people that are hiding their truth know that. The reasons why they're hiding their truth. But people that put the real truth on there and display it very publicly, obviously they have nothing to hide is what I'm trying to say. Um, whoever these people are um, that lied to you, if this resonates for you, they, they lied for strategic manipulative purposes, but it was to hide the truth. And somehow Facebook, a Facebook search or searches is about to provide the truth to you in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever you are. For some, I feel it to be one person. For some, I feel it to be two plus. But some kind of Facebook search energy, if this resonates for you, very, very strong and heavy. Very strong. So you plug it in however that resonates, if it resonates for you. Okay. I feel guided to use which is wisdom. Okay, we have respect. Our shuffle, we got respect reverse. These people extremely disrespected you and another person and people by slandering their name, defamation of character. You are about to expose them in a huge, huge, huge way. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard these people extremely disrespected you and other person and people. So they disrespected you by lying to you, obviously. And that's just the truth. When you lie to somebody... That's disrespectful. And that's just the truth. Um, and people lie for many reasons. To cover their ass, to cover up lies, for strategic manipulative purposes, etc., etc., etc. People lie all the damn time. And they do it for reasons. Um, evil, malicious reasons, usually. Um, and it's really sad. But whoever this is for, they lie to you, Facebook searcher person. Um, and they lied on the person or people that they slandered. I heard defamation of character. So anybody doesn't know, defamation of character is when you publicly lie on somebody out in the public. When you free willingly, intentionally, premeditatedly lie on somebody out in public, strategically to defame their character, defame their reputation, and spread gossip and lies and slander about them. Slander is lies, basically. Um, so they disrespected you and they disrespected the person or people they lied on. Um, disrespect energy, heavy here. Respect reverse. Heavy disrespect and absolutely. But you're about to find the truth. You're about to find the truth. Some heavy, heavy Facebook search energy. So um, you plug it in. How it resonates. I feel like I need to get Kipper too. Which if I can find my Kipper cards. Hold on. By the way, shout out to SEJ for um, sending me the new Kipper deck. Thank you so much, fam. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, she sent me this deck. She sent me this deck. She sent me this deck. And the other day, she sent me a new Kipper deck, which my other Kipper deck, y'all, anybody doesn't know, if you're a new ch um, viewer to my channel, I've had this channel two years now. My two-year mark on this channel just hit on March 17th of 2022, so I've had this channel for two years. And she sent me this, uh, the new Kipper deck just the other day because my other Kipper deck was very old. So thank you so much. Your initials are SEJ. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, but yeah, so they they disrespected you. Um, they, they wanted to manipulate you and think negatively of this person or people is what I'm presuming here. I mean, obviously, because there's a reason they did it is what I'm saying. So that they did. Obviously, they did. Just saying.
spirit messages do you have for the collective? Guidance, upright, security reversed. Okay. Let's pull a kipper. A particular person that currently lives in Atlanta is about to become very significant. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Oh, okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, we have mature woman. Um, I heard a particular person that lives in Atlanta, Georgia. That was specific. I heard that. Spiritual download. A, a, a particular person that lives in Atlanta, Georgia is about to become very significant in this. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So for some of you guys, I feel you can live in Atlanta, Georgia, or you are connected to someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia. However that resonates in one's life, um, somehow you're about to become significant in this situation, this Facebook searching situation, this finding out the truth information uh, situation, this um, finding out the truth for yourself situation, uh, basically. Um, Either you live in Atlanta, Georgia, or you were connected to someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia, that maybe lied to you. Because I heard it's either going to go positively or negatively for the, it's at least two people that lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it's going to go either positively or negatively for. So um, whoever you are, Facebook searcher, I feel you can either live in Atlanta, Georgia, or you know someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia that lied to you, or someone in Atlanta, Georgia that's going to help you. Um, However that resonates, but somehow someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia is significant in here. Whether you live, Atlanta, you live in Atlanta, Georgia, or you are connected to someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia, in some shape, form, or fashion, how that resonates, okay? And someone that lives in Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, and surrounding areas. And someone that lives in Huntsville, Alabama, surrounding areas is what I just heard. Okay, so we got someone that lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and someone that lives in Huntsville, Alabama, or surrounding areas of Huntsville, Alabama. So we have Atlanta, Georgia, and Huntsville, Alabama, and surrounding areas of Huntsville, Alabama. Possibly surrounding areas for Atlanta, Georgia as well. You plug it in how it resonates. How if that resonates in one's life? Guidance upright. Someone is about to learn a ton of information, a ton of information, useful information from the Facebook search and other social media platform information. Oh, oh my gosh. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heard someone's about to learn a ton of useful information. Some from this significant Facebook search or searches you're about to do, person. And I feel for some, you're either a mature woman or you are a masculine energy that takes on mature, um, taking on feminine energy. Because everybody has masculine and feminine energy inside themselves. Everybody does. Um, so even though I'm pulling mature woman, you could either be a mature femme energy or a mature masculine energy that's taking on feminine energy. However, that resonates in your life. You don't have to be a, a, a female, a chick. You can be a masculine energy. Just mature. Now, in this situation, it's mentally mature. You don't, as you know, she's pictured, she's like 60 years old, 50 or 60 years old. You don't have to be 50 or 60. You can be 25 years old and be very mature. Pay your bills. Go to work on time. Take care of your child or children if you have child or children. Do your yard work. Take, you know, clean your house. Um, pay somebody to come fix something. You know, take care of your responsibilities. You can be mature at 25. You can be mature at 55. You can be mature at 75. Or you can be immature at 25, 55, 45, 75, what have you. It's all in how you grow and manifest yourself. So just because we're pulling mature woman, you can be a masculine that takes on femme energy or a femme energy. Any age. But you are mentally mature. I'll tell you that. But I heard this significant Facebook search is about to become very, very significant. Very significant. It's about to help you out in a huge way, whoever you are, Facebook searcher. Um, you're about to find, you're, you're on the search for the truth. 
And it's not only a Facebook search for some of you guys, it's some kind of significant social media platform or platforms. Um, you're about to not, I think you're about to get, find the information off this Facebook search. And maybe you're going to visit the social media platform or platforms. And that's going to give you guidance and information. I heard information and information too. I heard lots of useful information. So it's really going to help you out in some shape, form or fashion. Um, and I feel you're mature. I feel you are very mature. Number six could be a very significant number in one's life. Number six, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible uh, date of birth number, possible jersey number, number six. Security reversed. A huge breach in the lies are coming. A huge breach. Many important phone calls are about to be made very soon. About to stir up the hornet's nest of lies and deception. Wow. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard a huge breach of, um, of lies and deception is about to be uncracked, basically. Somebody has been trying to keep somebody in some kind of weird manipulative state. They're trying to get them to, I think it's you. They're trying to make you believe something that's not true. But you're about to crack the code, crack the case, crack the truth, basically. You're about to crack the truth wide open. And it sounds like cracking this truth wide open, you're about to learn some useful information that's going to help you. So not only are you going to get past this fog of lies and deception and crazy shit, you're about to learn some useful information I think is going to help you in your own life or own situation or own what have you. And it's going to benefit um, the whole situation is what it sounds like here. So in this aspect, security reversed is um, breaking free of the lies and manipulation that someone or some people has been trying to keep you stuck in. Um, people that want you kept in lies and manipulation, they do that for strategic man manipulative purposes to benefit them just to let you know no matter what aspect that's in. And I'm just being serious. That's the truth. But whoever you are, you're about to break out of the middle fog, baby. You're about to break out. Mature woman. You are very responsible and have matured a lot. You're about to take personal power into your own hands and do the right thing. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is beautiful, man, whoever you are. I heard you're very mature. Now, like I said, you could be 20, 25, 35, 45, 55, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's not about, she's looking about 50 or 60 there, but it's not about physical age. It is about mental age, mental health age. And whoever you are, you are mature. And I heard for some, you have matured a lot. So you, I think you were immature in the past. You made bad decisions in the past. You were, or maybe just immature. And for some, that might be why you were stuck in some kind of web or webs of lies and deception and believe somebody's bullshit that was coming out of their mouth, basically. But you're about to learn the real truth, how that resonates. And um, it's about to um, benefit you. So that's a benefit you. Some from this Facebook search or searches, some from Facebook searches or search, search or searches, and um, some kind of social media platform in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever social media platform that is, it could uh, be YouTube, it could be Instagram, it could be Parlay, it could be um, it's, uh, whatever, whatever social media platform it is, okay? Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. But you're about to use a lot of personal power, mature person, masculine or feminine. You're about to use a lot of uh, personal power. And you're about to um, really, 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 I heard you're about to help help the situation. So, and make a very important phone call. So you're about to make a very important phone call or phone calls for some. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, I feel for some, you're going to report somebody or report something that needs to be reported or just speak on a situ very important situation, or maybe you're going to bless somebody out that lied to you. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else, but um, 
you're about to realize you were lied to, I'll tell you that for sure. Someone's about to report Medicare fraud. Someone's about to report workplace fraud, long-term care disability theft, short-term uh, disability theft, FM, FMLA fraud. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in, how resonate, you guys. So someone's about to report uh, Medicare fraud, Medicare or Medicaid fraud. Only you know your story, not anybody else. It could be you reporting this Medicare or Medicaid fraud or someone connected to you. And um, for anybody who doesn't know, I was re uh, looking on Facebook, actually, I think it was a few weeks ago. There's a reward, like the government rewards you like fiscal money for reporting Medicare or Medicaid fraud for anybody who doesn't know that. Like they do, seriously. Um, so kudos to whoever you are. For some, it's reporting short-term disability fraud. Someone stole someone's short-term disability in some shape, form, or fashion. It could have been from a, a company they currently work at or a company they used to work at, but someone, it sounds like in their company, someone else stole their short-term disability. And long-term disability fraud. So now, in some cases, they could have stole somebody's short-term disability. Some, they could have stole both, long-term disability and short-term disability. Uh, but some kind of short-term disability fraud and long-term disability fraud. I think you know about this mature femme or mature masculine. How that resonates, you're about to report it. Um, how that resonates for you. And what was the other one? There was another one too. You'll have to go back and check it. There was another one too. So you, you plug it in, how it resonates. And someone stole someone's payout from a company. That's about to be reported too. And someone stole someone's payout from a company and that's about to be re reported too. So a lot, you guys, a lot of you guys know a lot of this crap. You know someone's payout from a company was stolen. Someone uh, is about to report some kind of Medicare or Medicaid fraud. Someone's about to report some kind of long-term disability um, theft of an individual in the past, it sounds like, and some kind of short-term disability that of a person in the past. It could be, I don't feel it's you, I, because if it was you, I'm assuming you probably would have re reported that shit a long time ago. It's somebody you know was stole from, if this resonates. And that could be the security reverse, the breach information of these frauders, thieves and frauders and criminals, basically, that have, um, committed these, I mean, these are charges. These are serious federal charges, criminal charges for anybody who doesn't know. Serious criminal charges here. Theft, fraud. I mean, those those are things people end up in prison for, for good reasons. And I'm serious about that. If anybody doesn't know that. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And someone's about to report someone for sexual harassment. It will be effective and they will get fired. Know this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Holy moly. And someone's about to report someone for sexual harassment. It sounds like in a workplace. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. You could be a femme energy or masculine that, that takes on femme energy. But you're about to report somebody for sexual harassment in the workplace, I heard. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. And I heard it's about to be very effective. I heard they will get fired. Um, and if they are sexually harassing you, they should get fired. Absolutely. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And I'm going to stay.